So let me point out some of the features of this backyard. I feel like I, I'm, I'm living at the wild animal park sometimes. Well, hello. Welcome to the next video in this series of using what you have. Today, I'm gonna to show you my outdoor areas, both the backyard and the front yard. You know, what's really exciting about this is I lived in a house, of course, in California before that had a tiny backyard. You guys have probably seen some of the videos that I've done on how I tried to zhuzh it up as best I could. And you know, it turned out pretty nice, but I brought all of my outdoor furniture with me to Tulsa, not knowing where I was gonna live, not even knowing if I'd have a backyard, not knowing if I was gonna be renting an apartment. Turns out it was a good decision to do that because I've been able to distribute my outdoor furniture so beautifully around my yard. And you know what? It is an oasis back here, both in the daytime, but especially at night. At night, it is just downright magical. So let me point out some of the features of this backyard. This wonderful deck area here that's covered which is great because, you know, when we were deciding where to move, we decided on Tulsa. One of the reasons was it has relatively mild weather. You see the snow coming down. Or the snow on my car. <laughs> that is so sweet. Thank you, Tyler. Uh-huh, I know. Discovered that a little late, didn't we? Anyway, up here, I was able to put my outdoor dining table right off the kitchen so it's just perfect. We have a view of the pool and the backyard and it's really wonderful. Ready, ready to go. This is where I can sit and relax. I did a DIY chandelier in here, which is fun. I actually had this, something similar to this, in my home in California. But at least two can sit here comfortably. And you know what I do? I sit here and I watch the thunder and lightning storms. Not kidding. I mean, talk about crazy beautiful. Oh now here's a feature that came with the house. You know, this house is almost 100 years old and it has this little door that looks out and I think it's sort of like Camelot or la 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 la. I don't really know what it was used for, but I think my grandchildren are gonna absolutely love it. I mean, even the mailman can't get the mail up that high. From out there, it's, it's pretty high. But it's a cool feature, right? My drink is ready. <laughs> One of the best parts about this house, architecturally, are these copper gutters. I mean, those are amazing. Oh, I just wanna dive into the blue. 
let's not forget this amazing babbling brook. It sounds like a spa out here all the time. I love to come out here in the morning and have my cup of coffee. Sometimes I'll have a drink here at night or I'll talk to people who are in the pool. A nice little table right next to me. I mean, this is so relaxing and spa-like. I just love it. When I first moved into this house, some of you follow me on Instagram. And you probably remember, because I have a lot of people throw this in my face all the time, you said, I said actually, I will never go in my pool. This is just for looks. I will never get in it. I'm not a pool person. Well, until this happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My son Scott threw me in the pool. And you know what? It was so warm because he got here and the first thing he did was turn on the heater. It was so delightful that I was like, oh uh, my gosh. And guess what? Now, I actually go in the pool quite a bit. Like I said, at night, it is just a, a magical place to be. The lights hit the trees and you feel like you are under a canopy of leaves. Amazing. Speaking of leaves, all right. So when you have a backyard like this, here's what I've discovered. It's a full-time job. Yep, the trees are gorgeous, but they constantly shed. And I haven't even been here during the fall season when it, everything actually does what? It falls. And it, According to what I hear, it's going to fall into my pool. So I'll be very busy this fall. Even this wall over here is pretty cool. It's layered with a, a layer of trees here. You get to see their trunks and we have lights that go up on them. And then bushes here and then below there are blooming flowers. Can I just tell you, February and March and April in this town is absolutely breathtaking. I've never seen so many blooming things in my life. So this is just like this layered gorgeousness with a brick wall behind it. And you know, the brick wall surrounds my entire property. This is so relaxing. Honestly, I think I should put a sign up above that door that says, relax. I'll put that on my list of things to do. Sometimes it gets very hot out here, so having the addition of the umbrella just gives a couple of places where you can sit out by the pool but not be in the full sun, which is my preference. And then there's additional seat here. I think this is great. We've had so many people over to enjoy the pool and lots of people sit in these chairs. They have a drink, just saying, and it might be Kool-Aid. It, it's that's You drink that too, right? This tree is the most spectacular tree, especially at night. But if you take a look at the trunk and the gnarliness of it, you'll see this thing I think has been here since the house was built. And it is just breathtaking. Now, it's a naughty tree, and I mean naughty, in that it dumps in the spring all of its pollination stuff in the pool. And then in the summer, it, it dumps like little hard peppercorns. I don't know what they really are, but they look exactly like a peppercorn. And you know, so you're constantly cleaning that up. But you know what, it is worth it to me because my house in California was not particularly attractive architecturally. It was a tract home. So to be here in Tulsa and have this historic home that's nearly 100 years old, and have all of the things that go with it and the mature trees. I mean, even driving from the main thoroughfare down the street to my home, I feel like I'm going to the neighborhood of Father of the Bride. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. What about these trees right here? Again, lit at night, amazing but they have ivy that's growing around the trunk. I think that's so quaint, don't you? And I'll tell you what, it is a squirrel jungle gem. Like I sit out here sometimes, any time of the day, and I see squirrels not only in each tree, but jumping from tree to tree. 
it's incredible. I feel like I, I'm, I'm living at the wild animal park sometimes. Definitely when it comes to mosquitoes, definitely. <laughs> I bought the home, I knew that the pool light didn't work. And according to the previous owner, the pool light hasn't worked in about eight years. Well, when my son Scott was here, not only did he do my outdoor landscape lighting, which is incredible, he also changed the light in the pool. Not kidding. Found this is $9. $9 for a screw? Right. We've been screwed. Just a single light, it made such a difference. So all the lighting back here to light up the brick has just been incredible. There's one last seating area here, and this again was used in my last house right outside my French doors. But these are the most comfortable chairs. I got these at Costco, believe it or not. But they're just like so comfortable. I think they are Tommy Bahama. Or maybe I just called it that because it looked like that to me. So my dining table is sitting right there. And when you open those two French doors after dinner, you can come out here and have a drink. <laughs> and of course, right next to it, very conveniently located, there was a, a concrete pad here. What do you put there? I decided to put my barbecue there and my wood for my fireplaces. And then again, another umbrella. All right, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the potted plants. You know, these pots I actually had in my last house, so I'm definitely using what I have. I brought these pots, had them potted, but look, these are my solar-powered tiki torches that were invented by one of my subscribers and fans here on YouTube. And he got me started with these, gosh, I want to say seven or eight years ago. And even to this day, they're like one of my most favorite features um, in my backyard, whether it be here or in San Diego. So would you like me to show you the secret garden door? It's so cute, come look. I just think this is so adorable. It like rivals the one up there that we think the milkman used to use. Look at this. They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. So look at these trees. Again, the front yard is every bit as incredible as the backyard. I love this little corner. Now you're gonna ask, who's Beth? That, that little bench over there, that swinging bench, has the name Beth on it. Well, it was the name of the previous owner's daughter. She's still alive, it's not a memorial. It was just a sweet thing to do. Follow the road until it leads us somewhere. A great place over here that you can sit down on the swing and just like enjoy looking around at your neighbors. Everybody in this neighborhood goes on walks and everyone seems to have a dog. That's one thing I don't have yet. I need to get a dog and maybe, maybe I'll name it Beth. That's a great idea. You are the best thing. This tree is, uh, you have to see it at night. It is uh, Scott, he lit this thing up with, I think there's, well, there's four spotlights that light this tree up. And essentially, this tree becomes an umbrella of leaves. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. Now, I had my grandchildren in mind when I put this up, but you know what? I like to swing too. Isn't this so cute? My little walkway, it's also really cute when it's covered in snow. The only problem is I moved in here when it was covered in snow and I couldn't see the walkway. So half the time I was on, <laughs> falling off onto the grass and half the time not, but I think I got it down now. When you hold me, it even has a really cute mailbox and high powered state of the art security. So don't even try to mess with me. All right, here's the question of the video. What do you think this is? I mean, I don't think it's a dog house. I shouldn't say that. You tell me what you think it is. But it's kind of a scary, dark place in there. I don't know what this was used for 100 years ago, but super cute. And it has a, an 
access point on the other side too, which is on the other side of my electric gate. See, it's kind of high. So leave me a comment. What do you think this was used for? I don't know, but how cute is it that over here there's another arched door to go into the backyard? This gives me access to go on up the stairs to that upper deck area or into the pool house. You want to see what's in the pool house? Come on, let's do it. Welcome to the pool house. Well, this has several different uses. It's an access to get right to the garage, but it's also a place where if people are using my pool, and especially if they're staying in the guest house, this is kind of the intermediary space. Using what I have, I brought this light fixture from my old office in downtown San Diego, and I thought, where can I use that? Here it is. Now, yes, there are holes in the ceiling because we're not done in here. Try not to look at that. Just look at this. I did buy this piece of furniture, but it's so perfect for sunscreen, our outdoor speaker that we bring out at night, and a place for floaties and towels. How easy is that? As well as this basket here that also houses, this houses my favorite floaties. You got one on either side under your arms and you can sit in the sling in the middle, or my favorite, put one behind your head and one behind your knees and float off into paradise. If you're wondering what this is, good for you because this is my upper guest house. When I first moved in here, this became my storage for everything. And the next video that we're gonna be uploading in this series, you're gonna get to see what a miracle job we did in two days to turn it into something very special. This is the weirdest guest bathroom ever. Super weird. Like it has a shower that I swear reminds me of a telephone booth. Next year, I'm going to be doing some bathroom remodels and you're gonna get to see how weird this bathroom is before and what I turn it into after. All right. It's time for me to go um, get in the pool and float away into Never Never Land. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the outside of my house. And you guys know what? Christmas is just around the corner. So keep watching. We've got some great videos coming your way. Also, next year, you're gonna get to see my brand new living room, music room, and sunroom, which I've completely renovated. You're gonna love it. I know that I do. All right, are you ready? Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, click the all button on the ringy bell notifications thing, and I'll see you guys later. Happy summer, actually happy fall. Happy winter, it's coming like a locomotive.